Praise the Lord. <laughs> you are welcome to Calvary Drama Ministries International, the YouTube of Calvary Drama Ministries International. Don't forget, on Calvary is your deliverance, on Calvary is your salvation, on Calvary is your multiplication, on Calvary is your good health. The Lord Jesus has completed it on Calvary. And because of that, you have no reason to be under any bondage, depression, oppression, obsession of the devil. Because at Calvary is victory. You are welcome on board. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I, I want to tell you this, that as you watch this particular film, you are about to watch it now, the Lord will give you the total victory in Calvary in Jesus' name. And I want to specifically pray for you. Because you have come to Calvary Movies TV, Everything that has been troubling your life will vanish now in Jesus' name. Because you have come to Calvary, you have, you have, you have tapped on, on our leg to watch our films, the Lord will watch over you. He will watch over you in the secret, we will watch over you in the open. And the blessings of God will be yours totally in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our films. Thank you so much for sending in great testimonies. Thank you so much for sending us help. A lot of you have been sending us money one way or the other. We just appreciate everybody. We appreciate you. And we know that the Lord will reward you for doing this, for the work of God. He will bless you in Jesus' name. Like I said, these films will open your eyes to great mysteries. These films will open your eyes to the source of real salvation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Before you go, please, I want you to do four things for us. Number one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, press on the notification bell. As you press on the notification bell, any other content that will come into this channel, you will be notified. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Number three, we want you to spread it. Many of you don't know that it is a ministry to spread it. The, word, the Bible says, the Lord has given his word. Great is the multitude of those that publish it. Great is the multitude. Blessings is the multitude. Blessings. Great is the blessings of those that spread it. Spread this message. Let those these messages that you are going to watch here, let them bless the lives of people too. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And then, number four, please remember to, to pray for us. Yes, we need your prayers. We can't do this on our own without your prayers. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you as we watch this film. It is well with you. Let me now assist my wife by preparing uh, something at least before she comes. Ah, this woman, she deserves my help. She's a very nice woman. A woman that can cope with me even in this lowly estate. Eh? Ah, in this situation I am. Ah, no, 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 no. It's a woman that I should assist. It's a woman that needs my help. Bola, I love you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm. 
Yes. I think this is a fuel. <laughs> this is our, our local fuel. Ah, Pastor K. Man of God. Pastor K. Man of God. Ah, God bless you. Ah, you promised that you are going to visit me. And you are able to visit. Oh, I appreciate you. This is the kind of pastor I want. Eh? God bless you. And let me bring cheer for us. <laughs> We get to the GS. Life, eh? Aye. I'm tired of the Ah, I'm tired of the Pastor, sit down now. Sit. Pastor, let's see. Don't mind this trouser that is. <laughs> it's the belt, oh. Um, the belt has scattered. Maybe I will look for rope and tie it. <coughs> so, as I say, this is the way I'm managing my life here. Honestly. As you can see, man of God, I'm just trying to prepare something to assist my wife before she will come back. No stove, no gas cooker, just charcoal. No water. I have to be fitting water. Pastor, but broke. Ah, I'm tired. Very, very tired. Ogomosho, I don't, I don't like it again. I don't like Ogomosho because everything in Ogomosho is hostile, very hostile. The people are hostile with their money. They are hostile. Their pocket is very, very hostile. They don't give. Hmm? The land too. Even the land is hostile. Ah, I mean, I'm so tired. I'm ready to move out of this town anytime, Pastor K. Anytime from now, I'm tired. Ah, you see, this life. I don't like it. This life, I'm tired of it. I mean, life of poverty. I'm down, sick, and tired of it. It is not life that matters, but the courage we put into life. Our problem is not what actually counts, but the reaction to our problems. What we see and perceive is the function of our victory or failure. The spies saw themselves as grasshoppers, but Joshua and Caleb saw themselves as bigger than the giant. The Israelite soldiers saw Goliath, the giant that would destroy them as a slightest provocation. But David saw a very small boy that a small stone from his catapult could bring down dead. What you can see will see you through. Hmm. What I can see will see me through? Yes! Hmm. Yes! If you regularly watch films from Calvary Drama Ministry on their YouTube, one or two of their films says that it is not your place that matters, but your placement by God. It is not what you decide to see, that matters, but what God showed you to see. Ah, I wish I could understand you, man of God. You talked about getting tired of a bumoshu. So you said the famine in a bumoshu is so biting and it's crocheting. You said nothing is working in a bumoshu. You said you want to relocate away your ministry from a bumoshu to Lagos? Yes, sir, it is not just a desire, it is what I'm ready to do. In fact, it's what I'm going to do. Let me seek your indulgence by asking you this question. And what question? Is that what God is saying? Don't forget that it's not your place that matters, but your placement by God. It is not what you decide to see that matters. But what God decides to show you. It is my place and my placement. It is my place and the placement of God for my life. Sir, the placement of God for your life is more important than your place. You may be in Turkey and cannot buy Turkey to eat. You may be in the UK and things may not be okay for you. You may be in Maryland and not marry in the land. You may be in Canada and not be able to buy a car. 
You may be in Florida and not flourish. You may be in Washington and be washing things, washing clothes, washing plates in the hotels, washing dead bodies. I mean, washing many things in Washington. You may be in Lagos and be languishing in the lagoon of poverty, but you cannot be in the place of God and not have a voice. If you want to be a voice anywhere, you must hear the voice of God. Hunger, Mr. Alade, <laughs> you're one of the best paid staff here. I'm not just one of the best paid staff here. As a matter of fact, I'm the best paid staff. But the truth of the matter is this. My paid package, I mean my take home from this company is not enough to pay for my basic needs. I'm brilliant. I have the magical touch. For company's expansion. Not only that, I, 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 I mean, I, ha I have the intelligence to bring up any company, bring up any company to a very high level. I mean, I can work with very little supervision and come up with a mad opening result, land shaking results. But unfortunately, madam, my Hard work, my serious contribution, my land shaking contribution is too gigantic compared to my take home. My take home is just too small. Mm. Mr. Aladi, you say, I know, I know, but you should still please bear with us. You see, you are very much aware of the ill health and need capacitation of my dad. My daddy's ill health took its very painful toll on the finances of this company. The company almost collapsed. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we almost ran into bankruptcy. Thank God for little mercies. We survived it. Still in the hospital, recuperating. And I'm sure very soon you will be back on this seat and everything will be in shape. Uh, please bear with us. At the interim, Mr. Lade, we will arrange for a 10% rise in your pay. 10% rise in my pay? Madam, 10% rise is not the kind of money I'm bargaining for. I insist I must go. If you check your mail, I've uh, uh, I mean, if you check your mail, my letter of resignation is in your mail. Uh, and I'm also aware of the fact that I must give a one month mandatory notice before I leave. Uh, I will be leaving at the end of this month. No, I thank you so much for all you did to make my stay here. Thank you so very much. it went with my boss. By the grace of God, I will be leaving the company at the expiration of the one month notice. What will now happen to your work at Aderi Talk Consult? <laughs> what will happen to my work at Aderi Talk Consult? Your question amazes me a lot, sir. You should not bother me. It shouldn't bother me. What happens to my work there shouldn't bother me. Life is a struggle. It is the survivor of the fittest. The best is only good enough for the fittest. I mean, what I'm saying is this. Uh, 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 a company that is paying me 140,000 naira. And now they are saying they are going to add uh, just 10%. Even if they had that 10%, that should just be about 200,000 naira. Now, you compare that with a place that I will be going now where I will be getting 450,000 naira. Doesn't make sense, sir, to leave a job 
I need to jettison a job of 450,000 naira and then say, I'm going to stick to a job where I will be paid only 200,000 naira. It doesn't make sense. Do does it make sense? It doesn't make any sense, but a lot of faith. Everything is not all about money. You talk and reason like a man with a thing of pride and not like a Christian. Hmm. You didn't speak in faith. You spoke in the flesh. Can I ask you a question? Uh, go ahead, sir. I'm on his. What is he asking about? Who? God. <laughs> what God said about it. And what God is this saying about it is this every good thing and every perfect thing comes from God from above. Okay. Is he asking you to leave your present place of work? He's asking me to do what is good. Because the Bible says every good thing and perfect thing comes from God above, in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. He asks you. To go? He asked me to do a good thing from his word, the Bible. Abuja is good. My new place of work is good. My official quarters is good. Eh? Abuja is good. Everything is good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> House, no water, no borehole, no well, eh? no light. Ah, it's well. To me, you are more important than anybody. Whatever you tell me, I will do without looking back. Because God has made us one, and one we shall be forever. But, sweetheart, have you prayed and fasted over our location to Lagos? Yes, oh. yes, I've done so. Thank God. What did God say? God said, God said, uh, well, I love what God says. Uh, God says, um, there's a way that seems right up here, man, but the end of it is destruction. But I know that ours, we shall not be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. But, dear, you have not told me what God said. I am interested in knowing what God told you. Well, God says, as for us, we should not fear. Rather, we should have faith. Yes, God says he is going to make every crooked path on our way straight. He says he's going to turn all our obstacles to miracle. <laughs> he said we don't have problem. There is no problem with our relocation to Lagos. As a matter of fact, the course is very clear. I mean, the course is very clear for our location to Lagos. Oh, that is beautiful, excellent, and wonderful. Jesus, your food is ready. You can go and have Lagos. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. What can you see? I can see plenty birds in solitary confinement. They are confined. What are the other pictures? You can see about the birds. They look very healthy. They look, I mean, they have adequate supply of feet, adequate supply of water. I mean, they look healthy and well taken care of. Hmm. The key word about them is covenant. Yes, they are, they are, they are, they are confined. 
they are in solitary confinement. Everywhere they are in an enclosure. That's true. That's true. Okay. Come with me. Look at these other ones around. What can you say about them? Well, they are, they are small in size. They, they are free rangers. They fend for themselves. They are very, very small. They are thin. At least I can see one of them looking sickly. They are, they, 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 they are not well fed. They are not well taken care of. Hmm. Which of the two categories? Would you like for dinner? Well, of course, I will like the one we first saw. I mean, the big ones that are confined and well taken care of. I will prefer those ones for, for dinner. Romans 12 one says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And addition, your bola, you are not a sacrifice, you are carnal. You are comforted, but not broken. You are not tied down for the pastor to use. A free ranger, a scarf ranger. You are too big for the master to ride on. That was the revelation that God showed me. That was the revelation. You see, I was a scarf ranger, a stray away Christian. A free Christian, uh, I do whatever pleases me. I eat what I wanted to eat. I drink what I wanted to drink. I go to places I wanted to go to. Um, I was not under the control of anybody, but rather I choose to control people. But I don't want anybody to control me. I was not broken. I was not tied down. My back was too stiff for the master to ride on. I allow God to lose control of my life. Do you know that uh, I had a similar revelation? Hmm? The only thing is that my interpretation differ grossly from yours. Brother Benga, I'm struggling to understand what you mean. You see, the Bible says there are some agents of darkness that appears as agents of light. Yes, I want to tell you categorically that that man in white garment is an agent of darkness that is trying to appear as agent of light. That man is a wolf in sheep clothing. It's to make you back out from that wonderful goodies God has prepared for you on the platter of gold. Hmm. Yes. He appeared to me too. What he said then doesn't make sense. He wanted me to petition eh? my elevation for retrogression by putting on hold my desire to go to Lagos and remain here in Ubomasho, eh, wallowing in an abject po poverty. Look, I st stood against and rebooked that evil revelation. Not for me. Yes, Sophia Kwa. This is serious. My brother, it's not enough to say this is serious. What is your decision now? My decision now is no more important to me. What is important to me now is to act on the decision of God for my life. It's God's decision for my life. And what is God's decision? I don't want to go astray. I don't want to be a scavenger. I don't want to be a free range Christian. I don't want to go astray anymore. I don't want God to lose his control over my life. I want to be confined. I want to be under control. 
I want to be tied down for the master to ride home. I don't want to be a scavenger anymore. I only want to do what God says I should do. I don't want to see with my eyes. I now only want to see with the eyes of God. And what I can see with the eyes of God is this. That I should forget I should jettition the 450,000 naira job in Abuja and rather stick to the less than 200,000 naira here in Ogomosho. That's what I'm saying. That's what his eyes is leading me to say. My brother, I also advise you to see with the eyes of God. Because the eyes of God will never fail you. This physical eyes will fail, but the eyes of God is never, never fail you. That's my advice. The place made of God for my life is all I crave for. And I must also be quick to add that the company will miss your great contributions. And, well, we wish you all the best in your future in different. Madam, I don't need to visit the account department. Uh, and let's give the glory to God in everything. Um, actually, the need that came to your office last two days is not the me you are seeing presently. <laughs> Mr. Lord, I'm lost in the wood. Uh, madam, <coughs> let me take you out of the woods. Please help me. <laughs> help me. The Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man. From the hand is destruction. Thank you, ma. I fed on top of the world. Madam, but I had an encounter with God that completely broke me down. I want nothing now than to completely please Jesus. I mean, I want more of Jesus and nothing of me at all. I want to be tied down. I want the Lord Jesus to ride on me to wherever he pleases. In a nutshell, what I'm saying is this. I want to remain here until God speaks otherwise. Jesus Christ! So, madam, I want to jettison the 450,000 naira. I want to remain here and continue to collect the 150,000 naira. No, Miss Alade. <laughs> I increased it to, to 200k the last time we spoke. I pressurize you to increase it. I will wait till when this company has the capacity to increase my pay. Oh my God! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! That is a forgotten question. Yes. Mia has, has been in Lagos. Here is a dry land. There's nothing good about this land. No good road, no good services. Our members are extremely poor. The tithe from the church can hardly feed us. We pray for them. Daddy performs miracles in their lives. We visit them frequently, yet they are extremely stingy. The tithe is poor. The pledges are not coming in. The offerings on Friday, Tuesday and even on Sunday are nothing to write home about. So what are you not saying? So, is that why you want to relocate to Lagos? Yes. Lagos is a land that flows with milk and honey. There are many givers in Lagos. A committed congregation of just 10 members in Lagos will put plenty of food on your table, buy you a good car, and also fuel the car for you. So... Lagos is good. You and your husband, are you in the ministry because of money, not to win souls for Christ? Win souls for Jesus and also to win bread. The two must go together. An anointing minus money is, is equal to annoyance. Hmm. Anointing without money is equal to annoyance. 
Even the Bible says that money answereth all things. But the Bible also says that love of money is the root of all evil. No! No! Uh -uh. Let's balance the scripture. Balance scriptures. The scripture must be used to balance the scriptures. Is it not the Bible that says, I wish you above all things. I wish you above all things that thou mayest prosper. That's number one. That the Bible says. And be in good health. That's number two. Even as thy soul prospering, that's now the salvation of our souls. So, salvation is good. Ma, salvation is good. But prosperity, very, very good. Then, what about the souls that God has made you an overseer? Souls? Oh, you mean the members of our church? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. They'll find their ways. Hmm. Find their ways to where? They'll find their ways to other churches. Even some may find their ways to their different houses and may never come back to church. That won't happen to them. My Jesus will keep them. Hmm. I can hear from your voice the voice of Demas. Demas? That is a strong indictment against me. Demas forsook the place of his primary assignment because of food and because of the love of the world. I went to Thessalonica, a big city like Lagos. I think that is a discussion on food. Uh -uh. You are not only intruding into the affairs of my family, but you are castigating and criticizing us. I think this is a convenient point for me to bid you farewell. Goodbye. Where I want to be is where you want me to. The place made of God for my life is all I pray for. The place made of God for my life is all I wanted. Welcome to Lagos, the home of exceptional ministerial breakthrough. You see, to excel ministerially in this citadel, you have to do one of two things. What are those things? Prophet and apostle of this end time. You must add the juju to prayers and the Bible. Add juju. Bishop, my prophet, how do you mean by that? You see, I will go into that for now. And I know it's a sin against God. I know you don't want to go into rituals and um, fetish things. To succeed ministerially. Never, never. We will never do that. <laughs> I know you won't do that. I know you. <laughs> Bishop, so what is the second option for faster, ordained, harmless, and resort oriented procedure? Self packaging. How? You must package yourself. How? Huh? One, you must read books on philosophy and psychology. You must be so vast, you must be so correct. Read encyclopedias, be correct, make the Google your friend. You must know what is going on around. You see, the error of the whole world of God is done and done forever. You see, as a minister, you must be one. If you want people to come to your church and to love your ministry, you must memorize ideas, creeds, methodologies, idioms, sarcasms, and quotations. You must be worded. Thanks 
so much, Mr. Alade. Dad said you stopped by at his place in the hospital and prayed with him. In fact, he said he felt a tremendous improvement after your prayers. The medics are considering discharging him very soon. Thanks so much. To God alone be the glory. You see, God can do anything for us. All that God is looking for in us as Christians are vessels or containers that are ready to carry him in righteousness and holiness. That's what God is looking for. <laughs> Mr. Alade, I'm getting it. Please, have your seat. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, man. I'm okay. Thank you, man. Um, and again, above all, which many Christians don't know, God is looking for our ability to totally yield to him and to have faith. Faith is important. Faith is the catalyst that triggers the miraculous. Faith is the catalyst that triggers the miraculous. <sighs> Miss Alade, thank you. It is your wish, man. Let me go to my office. Thank you. God bless you. Man. God bless you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, please help my faith. Number two thing is to effectively polish your English. Your diction must be top-notch and effectively polished with nice body carriage and gesticulations. You see, there are some words that your people pronounce that are not pronounced that way. For example, when you don't say love, love is pronounced as love. Pronounced after me, say love. Love. It's not love as in laughter. It's love. Love. Again? Love. I call yourself I love that. No, better is pronounced as better. Better. Again? Better. So, we don't pronounce water as water, it's wara. What did I call it? Wara. Again? Wara. God is pronounced as God. What did I call it? God. Of that. Pronounce it again, love me, are you? God. You don't say, I don't want to take that. You say, I'm not gonna take that. Again? I'm not, not gonna, gonna take that. that. Let me hear that. I'm not, not gonna, gonna take that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so occasionally, when you speak, you interrupt your words with okay, okay. For example, I don't want to take that, okay? Say okay. Okay. I love that. A round of applause for yourselves. <laughs> okay. So number third thing to do is you must learn how to speak in tongues. Can you speak in tongues? <laughs> I will teach you how to speak in tongues. Tongues. <laughs> Ramata is the Yoruba word. And the Yoruba name that you cannot forget. Yes or no? Yes. Ramata. 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 Mama in Yoruba means mother. And you cannot forget that. Yes or no? Mama. 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 Kori in Yoruba means did not see. Yes or no? Kori. Pronounce the three words together. Ramata. Kori Mama. Ramata Kori Mama. Again. Kori Mama. Again. Kori Mama. Again. Ramata Kori Mama. Louder and faster. Ramata Kori Mama. Again. Ramata Kori Mama. Again. Ramata Kori Mama. Faster. Ramata Kori Mama. Again. Ramata Kori Mama. I love you. I love that. Ramata Kori Mama. Ramata Kori Mama. Ramata Kori Mama. Now, issue in Yoruba 
means yeah. Atta means pepe. Now call it together. Ishu atta. Again. Faster. I love that. I love that. A round of applause. Your brand of speaking in tongues. That is your style of speaking in tongues. Ramota Korimaba is so at Oh, no. So the first thing. That you must know to excel ministerially is to invest heavily in music. You must invest in music. Mm. You see, we both carry the same level of anointing, and I invest heavily on music. People will troop more into my church than yours. People will come to my church than yours, especially youth. They love the eye praise, they love dancing, shouting, screaming. <laughs> so you must invest even in music. Mm. It's very important for your ministry. And lastly, by intrinsic inner intuition, you must be able to make brilliant guesses. Example, there is somebody here. You start with headache. I know you are having headache. Come out and you pray for the person. And from there you graduate to the next level. You begin to make brilliant guesses. Brilliant guesses. Who does not have headache? <laughs> and from there you move to the next level. You move to the next level. I see your ministry expanding mm -hmm. even beyond your widest imagination. Amen. Now, let's begin to pray. Now, begin to speak in tongues in your brand, of, in your style of speaking in tongues. Now, let's begin to speak in tongues. Ramata Now, faster. Stand up. Let's go here. My, Baba. Life is Baba. my brother is getting better. I am in trouble. He's now very conscious. He eats, drinks, talks. He even had a walk around the sword in the hospital. Tokranito is about to be discharged in the hospital. If this happens, it will be tantamount to a total loss on my part. It will mean he might return to his work. I said, I want to inherit his company. Possession. His fat company and private account in the event of his demise. Eh? He will never, I repeat, he will never return to his work. Not under my diabolical powers. Ha! Huh. It's recovery that you see in the physical. I have seen it in the spirit realm. <laughs> cool it down. Cool it down, young man. See my door. <laughs> the obituary of your brother will be announced in a matter of days. I'm getting back for that. Like me. I want him dead. He just have to die. He must die, oh! <laughs> Leave that young man to me! <laughs> okay, okay. This is it. It took me a serious challenge before I could get it. As a matter of fact, I had to bribe one of our house help to get it. 
The beauty, however, is that I've gotten it. What? What is that? Shall this pants now? Mm -hmm. You said you need it to push her from sanity to insanity. She's my stumbling block. The only challenge I have to take over the possession of Ada's property. And Ada's property has to be mine, no? It has to be mine, no, Baba? It must be mine. Good. I almost forgot. Hmm. I will use these pants to prepare a powerful charm for you. You will sprinkle the ashes of the pants on her bed. Once you notice she's out, you will leave your boy's cutter and go to her room. You will then sprinkle the ashes of the pants on her bed. <laughs> she will run mad the following day. Ah, thank you, Baba. May Eledua prosper the work of your hand. Thank you. You see, Madam, all that should matter to us is heaven. People run a lot. They run after so many things that we never, never give it an value. All that counts after all these runnings. Every other thing in this world. You are lucky to be here today. I swear. Blessed are those your eyes that are watching me. This is. Blessed are those eyes that are watching me. Because I can feel it. Things will begin to happen in righteousness. I mean, things will begin to happen in righteousness. Yeah. I believe you got it. I believe you got it there. I mean, there will be sporadic or parallel flow of the supernatural. I can feel it. I can feel it flowing from me. Yes, as many of you that are under the influence of my voice. Yes, your life will never remain the same. The God is a fan. I know him very well. I know him very well. Yes, your life yes, never He's my friend. He used to be in this Obama so before I left for Lagos. So ah, when has he turned to this? My voice. <laughs> we receive the fire. We receive the fire. And he will swallow the fire. He will swallow the fire. Ramata Ramata Polimama is swata. And Ramata Ramata Polimama is swata. You are going to catch the fire. And I decree. Masokata. Ramata Ramata Polimama is swata. Receive! Receive! No mention of Jesus. Receive! No mention of heaven. No mention of hell. No mention of one man, one wife. No mention of restitution. Nothing. Not even a mention of Jesus. Well, that's end time syndrome. End time syndrome. That is the word. That is the key word. End time syndrome. Swallow the fire. Receive the fire. Begin to swallow the fire. Yes, yes. I command. Begin to swallow the fire. Ramata Ramata Kuruma Mai Swata. Ramata Ramata Kuruma Mai Swata. Something is happening. I can feel it. That as you are watching me, as you have faith, as you have faith. Yes, you receive the supernatural. Well, I will give him a call. I will call him. I never knew you were the worst I knew. I was wondering who entered. Knowing you well, Auntie Shadi is never from work. It is me. I came to pray on her bed for safety. Our family is fighting with many enemies. Her dad in hospital. She herself has never come across a sweeter for marriage. The Bible says, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken by force. You can see me sweating in prayer. You are right, sir. I really felt for Atishade. 
How can a beautiful woman a nice woman like that not have an husband at her age and her father is still in the hospital? Her case is a case that further shows that the rich also cry. The rich also cry, my daughter. The rich cry more than the poor in their closet. The rich cry in their closet than the poor. Exactly. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, God bless you. Yes, sir. Who is there? Ah, sorry to disturb you, sir. I want to ask that you like to pay your support. No! Don't bother! I said I want to have a moment to intercede for her! I'm sorry sir, I've totally forgotten. Let me excuse you sir. You this girl! Don't ever disturb my prayers again! I will not only shut the door, I will lock it until I am through with praying. Father Jesus! The Bible in the book of Psalm chapter 2, verse 1, there's a big question there. He said, Why do they, they rage? Why do they rage? And the people are imagining vain things. The Bible also says that those who dig the pit, they will fall into the pits. We are going to pray that every calculation, every violent dealing, the Bible talks about violent dealing, every violent dealing against your life, against the life of your dad that is in the hospital right now. Let it go back to them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every calculations, every permutations of the devil against your father where he is not right now in the hospital. I can't do it. I renounce it. I reject it. Because you can't in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What that means is that. What that means is this. Eh? Every fire that is sent to you in the darkness, every power, every permutation manipulation that is sent to you in the darkness must go back to the sender. Amen. May I pray in Jesus' name? Back to the sender. Back to the sender. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Back to the sender. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now pray very well. Amen. Every power, every power that is in that that is fighting against the brightness of your life, they must go back to the sender. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's what the Bible says. It's not our world. They must go back to those that send it. He said those that dig beat. Listen. Those that dig beat will fall into the pit. The calculations and the and the effort of the pit is that man will fall into it, mm. but you will not fall into it. Mm. I will not fall into it. Mm. None of us will fall into it. Mm. Every pit that has been dug, they've dug a pit against your life. You don't know. They've dug a pit against your ministry. They've dug a pit against your marital life. Every pit of the devil that the devil has dug, they will fall into the pit. You will not fall into the pit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will not fall into the pit of the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, 
somebody first. I am still fire. Ah, hey, this is a battle of health. Ah, I must come and command the other. Baba is shouting fire. I can't see fire. Where Baba see fire? He said fire in the bed. This is the bed. I can't see any fire on it. This is the chair. I can't see fire on it. So where is he seeing fire? I saw that no fire. I like that there's no fire. So where is this Baba seeing fire? This is the here. They are shouting fire. But I don't see any fire. Baba! I don't see fire! I don't see fire! In Jesus' name we pray! Amen! Now go to bring the prayer of victory. Now open your eyes. Where is your phone? Or your Bible? That copy Bible one of Yes. Now I'm going to pray a prayer. A prayer of victory. Even when we have not seen the victory. What did I say, my sister? What did I say? Prayer of Prayer victory. Of victory. Even, when, Even when we have, we have not seen the victory. victory. Now, open the Bible. The Bible. Open the Bible to the book of uh, Psalm chapter 40. We are going to see something in the book of Psalm chapter 40, verse 2. He said, He brought me up. From where? Check it well. He said, He brought me up. Check it well. Check it well. He brought me up. You have not opened it. Open it very well. Fast, 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 fast. Because God, 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 God will have to fight for you. God will fight for me. He's fighting for me. And he will fight for you. Yes. He said, he brought me up. Yes. Oh yeah. But read it. Let me read it. Read it. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. Yes. King David said, from a merry clay. He brought me up. Out of a merry what? A merry merry clay. And wow. set my feet upon the rock and establish my coins. Yes. Do you understand that? There is a merry clay. A merry clay. The Lord says, He brought my feet out of the merry clay. Anybody that is feet still remains in the merry clay will die in the merry clay. What's going to happen? You must bring out your feet out of the merry clay if you want, if you want victory. And he said, not just bring it my, my, my feet out of the merry clay, he said something. He said, and he put my feet upon the rock. Hey, there is a rock. Who is the rock, my sister? Jesus. Jesus Christ is the rock. We are going to pray that God, number one, said, thank you, Jesus, for bringing my feet out of the merry clay. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray like that. Father, thank you for bringing my, my feet out of the merry clay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing It's a victory, yo. It's a prayer of victory. He has brought it. That's why we are going to pray a prayer of victory. God has brought your, your feet out of the merry clay. And then, not just that, no. He now puts your feet and put my own feet upon the rock. The solid rock, Jesus. We are going to make a proclamation. Read that verse 2 very well. I want you to read that verse 2 again. He brought me up also out of horrible peace. Yes. Out of a merry clay. Yes. And set my feet. Out of a merry clay of life. Yes. And set my feet upon a rock. Yes. And established my goings. He will now pray this way. Say, Father, Father establish my points. Establish my points must not be difficult. My points must not be crooked. It must not be difficult. It will not be crooked. My grain must be small. My goat must be small. My grain must be small. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Enough, enough of 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 one point. Listen, there's some people go. They move around, but very rough. Mm-hmm. Very rough, very rough movement. We are going to pray enough of rough movement. God must go with me. Anywhere I go to, the Lord must go with me. Pray us in Jesus' name. Jesus. Yes. Father, go with me. <laughs> we are talking about what, what God will do. We are talking about what God will do. And as many people that are, that are praying right now, if you join in these prayers, you must give testimony. God will do something. Because he's already doing something. If, if you put your feet upon the rock, Jesus. That is what? Psalm, what? Chapter 40, verse number what? 
Verse number one, two. I want you to know it. Every time as you are moving around, you are telling yourself that the Lord has removed my feet from the merry clay. And it's not just only putting my removing my feet from the merry clay, it established my brains. And not only that, it now put my feet upon the rock. And the rock is Jesus. The rock is Jesus. The rock is Jesus. The rock is Jesus. Fire! 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 Oh! Fire! Baba, fire on the bed, fire on the bed, oh! Which bed? Her bed. Shade's bed. I'd never seen something close to that. I could not see the top of her bed. All I was seeing is fire. Cool it down, cool it down, cool it down. It means she's operating from another realm. A different realm. From the one we used to know she belonged to. Hmm. She has gotten a stronger power than her usual power. It seems so, Baba. It seems so. You said you saw fire. Yes, Baba. Ha. You mean raw naked fire? Yes, Baba. Ha. Do you know the best killer of fire? Yes. The best killer of fire is water. Hmm, great. That is great. I will give you spiritual water that we use to quench that fire. Oh, Baba. A minute, please. There's an interesting story in the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 9 to 14. Exodus chapter 14, verse 9 to 14. Quickly. I'm there. Yes, quickly read it. Just read it for me. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them and camping by the sea. Yeah, when you get to you're going to read it. But this story is telling us about, about the miracles. Jesus will visit you with his miracles. Hey, and hey, your name will change to the miracles. Hey, hey, in the name of the Lord Jesus hey, Christ. Hey. Now, two serious things will happen to the, to the children of Israel. Yeah. Two serious things. Number one, the enemies we are pursuing. I don't say the least. Pharaoh oh, and his awesome yeah. And his chariots. It's, they were pursuing. They were pursuing. Now, if that was a problem at the back, and at the front was what? Let's see. Let's see. So the the the, the, the Israelites they are caught in between the, in between two serious dangers. But look at verse 13. There's something that was that did that that happened in verse 13. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Quickly read for me. Something happened in verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Moses said unto as, as I'm saying to you now. I'm telling you prophetically and emphatically that something positive will happen to your life now, now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. What did Moses tell the people? Fear ye not. Fear ye not. Now you listen. Are you in debt? Fear ye not. 
Is there a very traumatic problem ahead of you? Fear you not. Are you sick and you are wondering, would I die? Won't this sickness kill me? Fear ye not. Are you looking for a job? So I've been looking for a job for the past 10 years, no job. And I'm telling you right now, fear ye not. No matter the problem that you may be facing, fear ye not. Daddy is on the sick bed now. My sister Shade, fear ye not. No matter the difficulty of life, I'm saying to you once more, fear ye not. Why are we to fear? Now listen to the reason. He said the Egyptians that you are saying today, you will see them no more. The Egyptians I'm saying today, I will, I will see, see them no more. The death I'm saying today, I will see them no more. The sickness that is plaguing me today. I will see them no more. The, 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 the monitor issues that I that is in my family that I'm facing today. Every no problem more. that I'm facing right now, I will see them no more. I'll Begin to pay in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I will see them no more. I will see them no more. I will see them no more. Yes, you will see you will see them no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God is God is fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's healed. He's healed. He's healed. Any problem at all. You are in the name of Jesus. You are in the name of Jesus. You are in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I was sharing this with somebody. And the person said, I never knew that this is in the Bible. And it's a very popular scripture, but he said, I never knew that this is in the Bible. Look at verse 14. What verse 14, 14 says? Verse 14 has something very serious for you. It says, yes. The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Thank you, Jesus. Who will do the fight? Ah, it's the Lord. Who will do the fight? The Lord, the Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. You are in Nigeria, you are in Africa, you are in diaspora, wherever you are, that Lord will fight for you. What are you going to do? You will hold your peace because the Lord, the Lord is the mighty God. He is the mighty God, He is the mighty warrior. He will fight for you and you will hold your peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you to pray. You fight that. Father, Father, fight for me. Fight for me. Let your angels fight for me. Let your angels fight for me. Let your ministry angels fight for me. Fight for me, Lord. Fight for me. Fight for me. The Lord will fight for you. And you, you will hold your peace. You will not have troubled. You will settle. The Lord will do it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. On our way. Once she calls it, the fire in her will be quenched. All our powers will be destroyed. <laughs> this one will surely work. She will definitely run mad. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go yet. There are three warnings here. Number one. She must cause this time. Latest in one hour. Ah. Don't let me collect it yet. Let me be sure she's at home first before I collect it. Sorry, sir. Huh? 
Oh my God! Our phone is switched off. Ah, this is very unfortunate. How do we have the situation now? Let me extend his operation to two hours. How about that? Simply beautiful. I will be warm and dry with the extension. Okay. Number two warning. You must run with this charm. You must not trek. And you must not enter any vehicle. It will be an abomination to do that. That is no problem. The distance between here and my home is about 15 minutes trek. Great. That settles it. Number three warning. If she refused to cross this time after two hours, the evil in this time will come back to its sender. Not me, it's you, you. You will run mad. Now, run on! Run! 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 There's something very, very great. There's a scripture very great. You know, as, as we are preparing to go home, I mean, we have to pray this prayer. No matter how busy you are, no matter the extent of your busy schedule, you must pray this particular prayers. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. There's something very serious there in the world. The enemy says something. That the enemy said. What did the enemy say? Say it again. Pursue. The enemy said what? I will pursue. He said he will pursue you. Mm -hmm. I will overtake. And he simply said he will overtake you, the enemy. I will defy this world. I will defy your spot. All the things that you have gathered together for many years. Gone. Uh -huh. It says, my loss shall be satisfied upon them. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. Mm -hmm. I will draw my sword. I will draw my sword. They are, they are, you, know, you don't know what the enemy are doing in your secret. You don't know the kind of fight that is going on in the secret. He said, I will draw my sword. He's planned to draw his sword. And the and sword, says, sword is usually used to, for destruction. He said, I will draw the sword to destroy him. And he says, my hand shall destroy them. My hand ah. shall destroy them. Now, let me tell you. The Lord is telling me right now that there are some enemies that are only around. Sake and for your daddy's sake, they are running around for your daddy's sake. Pray now <laughs> that all they are running, say so. All they are running, all their effort, all their effort, all their calculations. All their permutations, all their, permutations, all their, manipulations, all their manipulations, all their manipulations, all their manipulations, all their manipulations shall be forgotten. Shall be it will not bring any result. It will not bring any because result. the Lord shall fight for me. Prayers in because Jesus' name. Because the Lord shall fight for me oh, in the name of oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, all their efforts, all their shit results. All their calculations, oh, all their manipulations. All your permutations in the name of the Lord Jesus. Fight for my daddy. Oh, Lord. Fight for me. Oh, Lord. Fight for my daddy. Fight. Fight. Don't let the enemy destroy my daddy. As they are running around now, running around. All those struggles will be vain. They will not get results. They will not get results. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Do you know one thing in life? The unseen enemies are far, far more than the same. Unseen enemies, the enemies you can see, they are far, far more than the same enemies. No wonder the Bible says the people, eh? the enemy of a 
Ma, a what? At the end of his household. People that don't even think that you're, they are your enemy, they are actually your enemy. Those that you don't think that they are your enemy, they are your enemy. They, 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 the enemy of a man are people of his household. We are going to pray every sin enemy. Pray like that. Why? Every sin enemy. Every unseen enemy. Every unseen enemy. Receive your water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive your water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Over my life. Over my daddy. In the name of Jesus. We are every sin enemy. Every sin and unseen enemy. Over my life. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. Mr. Alade, you look pensive. Uh, I feel you should get to the hospital first before going home. <sighs> but he must be very hungry now. And I need to fix him something to eat before setting out to the hospital. My feeling is getting stronger and I believe it is of the Lord. What feeling is that? I feel that you should go to the hospital first before proceeding home. But I'm confused. I need to see that too. But the doctor said it will be discharged today or tomorrow and um, I need to fix him something to eat. And to calm it all, my big uncle called. And he's expecting me. So why do I now go around these two options? Oh, well, um, you are a child of God and you have the spirit of God. So I can't force anything on you. Pray, let God lead you. But at the same time, I still feel that you should go and see that. God, please teach me what you do. Oh my goodness! Ah, time is going. What do I do now? Ah, ah, let me go and No. Ah, she might get suspicious. Ah. I know her. She, she has never lied to me. Since they promised she, she will come. I know definitely she will come. Such an uncle indeed. 
You really stood by your brother and I. In fact, Daddy's survivor inches on God and on his uncle self on me. Yes, like I said, I would like to discuss something with you urgently. I know, yes. Visited us in this Lagos. Ah, he turned our money into dancing. He wiped away all our tears. Ah, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. That in spite of all the antagonism, we came to Lagos here and God changed our story. God thank indeed Jesus. is a story changer. Just imagine, see what is being for us. We eat whatever we want to eat at the time we want to eat it. Unlike those days where we were suffering in a woman shop. <laughs> where the whole pastor will be fetching water mm. and be swearing like yes. Christmas goats. <laughs> Poverty is a disease. I'm telling you. Poverty is a disease. Mm. Now we spend whatever we want to spend at the time we want it. Yes. Our membership have risen to 520. Hmm. Our children are doing excellently well in the university. Dapo is finishing, is, is graduating this year. Timile will be graduating in the next two years. Yes. Ah, what a mighty God we serve. Jesus. In fact, the way things are happening to us rapidly and in quick succession, I think our membership will clock. 1,000 in the next three months. Jesus Christ. Yes. Did I hear you say the next three months? Yes. God forbid. Mm -hmm. No, God forbid. Oh, yes. That's a very long time. <laughs> Me, under my watch. Look, I'm targeting, I'm targeting 1,000 membership before the end of this month. Uh -huh. ah, ah. Look, have you forgotten that by the end of this month, We'll be, we'll be marking our an, uh, anniversary. Anniversary? What anniversary are you talking about? Six month anniversary. Six months. Six month anniversary in ministry in the Lagos. Anniversary of six months? <laughs> I think people mark anniversary of years and not months in the ministry. Forget about that. That is why the anointing you are carrying is so small. Mm -hmm. So small. Mm -hmm. When you are carrying a very heavy, large shake apostolic anointing, mm -hmm. like the one, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. you mark your anniversary weekly. Sweet. Yes. I didn't marry you to raise children by you. I, I married you because I want to fulfill all righteousness. And of course, to, to enjoy it. Lost a 
everything call me not Bola <laughs> but call me Mara for the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me <laughs> Where you want me to The place made of God For my life is all I crave for The place made of God For my life is all I wanted Oh, 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 oh,